Yeah. All right, so if ecology is the study of the relationship between living and non-living things, there's also relationships between those living things. So there are major relationships within an ecosystem. So these specifically are gonna talk about relationships between the living parts of an ecosystem. So the three big ones are interdependence, competition, and cooperation. So the first one is going to be interdependent. So these are complex relationships where one species population size or lives would be greatly affected without the other's presence. So these are those interconnected relationships. So if something happens to one, something's going to happen to the other because of that connection between them. Then we also have competition and cooperation. So competition, just like amongst people, is gonna be when two organisms of the same or different species attempt to use the same ecological resource in the same place at the same time. So food, sunlight, or even mates. So if you've got um, two deer populations that live in the same forest, there are different species of deer, those species may compete for similar resources like food. Um, there also might be individuals within that species competing for food as well. Now, as far as sunlight, we have lots of plants that will compete for sunlight. Those plants that grow up higher are typically going to be better suited for that competition. They'll also fight for mates. So you see those mating rituals. Um, there's a really cool bird called the Tevetta golden weaver where the males will compete for mates by weaving this beautiful circular nest that then dangles from a tree. So it's almost like a full orb. And then there's cooperation. So this is necessary to provide care for young and to protect or preserve territory. So you'll see like meerkats, they'll all cooperate together to have one out on the guard. Um, so they'll have one, it's called a sentry, who will stay above ground while the rest of them dig in the tunnels. But that one sentry is cooperating to protect everyone's territory or to keep them safe. Uh, providing care for young gorillas actually do that, female gorillas and female lions will actually take care of essentially all of the young there. So they still know which one is theirs. They are maternal animals, so moms know their kids, but all of the females will work together to help provide care for the young.